hello guys and welcome to the another photoshop tutorial so in this tutorial i'm going to create a two effect first one is miniature effect i'm going to create and the second one i'm going to provide a depth to this to this image sorry by using lens blur filter so uh, without a further delay let's get started So uh, this is the image guys which I have downloaded from wallpaper-gallery.net They have a bunch of collection you can go ahead and download from this uh, website Or I will also provide a link below You can click the link and download this image and follow this tutorial So uh, first of all what I'll do I'll resize this image So uh, for resizing first I'll press Ctrl plus T on my keyboard just a minute let me select this image and then I'll press ctrl plus T now uh, to uh, after pressing ctrl plus T I can see I am able to transform this image so I'll bring it slightly to the down okay uh, this is fine I'll click OK now what I'll do I'll crop some of the areas so uh, I'll select the crop tool and I'll start cropping from here and slightly from the left side so yeah this is fine now I'll check click the check mark so now uh, what I need to do I, I need to bring a small car card over here so uh, to create a miniature effect so uh, this is the car guys which also I have downloaded from Google I'll provide the link of this uh, image as well so for selecting I'll select the quick selection tool and I'll start painting over this car to make the selection So I think the selection okay so some part here so uh, this is it and I'll select the move tool and I'll take this image and drop it to my background image now I'll scale down this image by pressing ctrl plus T on my keyboard and I'll make it smaller a uh, little bit more okay this is fine yeah uh, once this is done you can see uh, it doesn't give a real uh, look uh, it doesn't look realistic so uh, what I'll do first I'll take a mask over here on this car layer I'll select the brush tool and make sure my foreground and background color is black and white and what I'm doing here I'll first I'll zoom out this image you can see uh, the leaf around here I'll, I'll make sure that it is uh, in front of the car car wheel so I'll make the brush smaller and I'll start painting over here I'll start painting till I see the whole leaf now you can always go uh, press the X command so that you can change the foreground and background color to bring out the area which are over painted or over selected and start painting those areas I'll make it smaller these are the things which takes times but if you do it properly it will give a beautiful effect so 
so uh, this is it so uh, you can see it started giving me a bit real look oh sorry it started giving me a bit a uh, real look here now uh, to give some more uh, realistic uh, some more real look uh, what I'll do I'll create a shadow so for creating a shadow I'll take a new layer I'll select the brush and make sure my foreground color is black I'll decrease the opacity to around 50 to 40 percent okay and I'll increase the size of the brush and I'll start painting over here and somewhat here so uh, this shadow is too dark isn't it so uh, what you can do you can go ahead and just decrease the opacity okay this is fine yeah this is better so uh, this is it guys uh, this is the uh, miniature effect which I have already created and now what I'll do I'll give a depth to this image so that it look more beautiful so by so by using a lens blur filter I'm going to do that so uh, before that just go ahead and select all these layers press ctrl plus G on your keyboard and name it as a miniature I hope the spelling is correct yeah so uh, now what you'll do just press ctrl alt and E on your keyboard so what it will do it will uh, whatever the effect you have created it will merge all the layer and it will create a separate image over here now we are going to provide a depth to this image by using lens blur filter so uh, first of all go ahead and click on the quick mask selection quick mask sorry and take the brush tool and increase the size of the brush yeah, this is fine okay this is fine and now start and make sure your opacity is 100 percent and I start painting over here over these areas There are some background noise though friends uh, just uh, ignore that so so this is it uh, yeah that's it so uh, once I've done with the painting uh, with the quick m sorry with the quick mask what I'll do I'll deselect this so the area which I have painted it will turn into a selection now what you have to do go to the channel and here you need to create a alpha channel over here a new once you click on this icon a black background will be shown here and uh, the selection which I have created will be shown here what I have to do I have to fill this selection with a white color to, so to fill the selection just press ctrl plus I to invert the selection selected area and it will turn into a white color now just press ctrl plus D to deselect it go to the layer and activate this layer now here's the part go to the filter blur and lens blur now as you click on the lens blur you can see this effect is showing here so here you have to keep uh, two things in mind uh, the source part it will be selected as a none you have to select it to the alpha 1 channel and the second thing you have to do the invert if you won't invert it the selected area will turn into a blur so you need to invert this so uh, rest of the images uh, blur apart from this area which I have selected now uh, this radius uh, this radius as you increase the radius the intensity of the blur will increase you can see so uh, you can play with this uh, as well 
uh, for me this is fine now I'll go ahead and click OK so uh, so uh, this is it guys uh, this is what I have created uh, I've given the depth to this image uh, by using Elaine's blur filter if you want to do some some more if you want to uh, make some more changes you can do that just press ctrl and J and make a duplicate of this layer and click on this blend mode option just click it over here and on the mouse uh, uh, sorry on the keyboard uh, press the down arrow key so as you can see the in different blend mode it started giving me a different effect so uh, you can go ahead and you can try that for me uh, multiply is fine for me it look lovely so uh, this is it guys I hope you like this tutorial if you have any question or you have any queries regarding this tutorial you can always comment below and one more thing guys please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon in order to get the update of my upcoming videos Till then, have a happy Photoshop day. Enjoy. Thank you.